Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV, which is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography 43, lesson number 23. The topic it is action of the river. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mutoni. Welcome. Let us look at our lesson goals. Today we are going to look at drainage patterns drainage systems and the significance of the rivers and the resultant features. So, by the end of the lesson, the runner should be able to identify the drainage patterns and the drainage systems. Then, the learner should also be able to state the significance of rivers and the resultant features. Let's get started. We start by the drainage pattern. Before we go to the examples, we are going to look some information about the drainage patterns. Drainage pattern is the plan or layout made by the river and its tributaries on the landscape. How it looks like, or that plan, that layout, how it has been alleged. On the landscape. Remember, it is the river, its tributaries, and the distributaries. What are the factors that influence the development of the drainage pattern? One, we have the slope of the land guide the direction of the river flow. So, one, it is the slope. Number two, it is the difference in the resistance. Antness determines how deep and wide a river channel would become. A more resistance will not get eroded, so the valley would be deep. Well, the less resistance rock will get that the river channel is becoming bigger. Then, the rock structure along the river's profile. What type are they? These are the examples. The drainage patterns we have. We have the dead linkage. As you can be able to see, all the river, all the river tributaries, they join the main river at an acute angle. That is the reason why we refer to it as the drainage um, drainage pattern. Then we have the radial drainage pattern. As you can be able to see, uh, the radial drainage system it is coming from a central point. And this one, it is mainly like the ones that comes from the mountains. They are the ones that we get the radio. Then we have the trellis. When we talk about the trellis or the trinio, it means that almost the, 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 the angle that is made by the tributaries is almost 90 degrees, as you can be able to see from the diagram. Then we have the centripetal. When we talk about the centripetal, it means that these rivers are brought together to one point. So they are coming from different areas. Distributaries are bringing the water to one point. Then we have the parallel drainage pattern. Now, as you can be able to look at those rivers, they are joining the main river parallel pass to one another. That is the reason as to why we refer to it as parallel drainage pattern. Then we go to the drainage system. Drainage system refers to the flow of the river water in varies with respect to the nature of underlying rock. How is it flowing? With respect to the nature of underlying rock. There are three types of the drainage systems. One, we have a condent, number two, this condent, and back tilted. What are the significance of the river? One of them, rivers provide water that is used both domestically by the industries and also for the irrigation purpose. Number two, some of the rivers are used as the natural waterways. So you get that some rivers are navigable. So they can be used as natural waterways. Number three, submerged river mouths form the reeds. 
fields that are deep and well sheltered, and this will now facilitate the development of the port. An example, we have the Rotterdam and on the Rhine Delta. Then number four, some rivers are rich fishing crowns, hence we get the fish from them. Number five, gravel and sand harvested from the riverbeds are used for the building and construction purposes. Some of the river deposit contain soils with variable minerals. And an example, we have gold and diamond. Number seven, features formed by the rivers attract tourists and earning the foreign revenue and the foreign exchange. Number nine, some rivers provide site for the development of the hydroelectric power stations and projects, the seven forts and the oil forts. Number ten, river deposit fertile alluvial soils that is rich for agriculture. Some of the river deposit, this one we have already done it, so it is kind of a repetition, so we are going to look at the activity. Explain four significance of rivers. Number two, state four types of drainage system. For reference, you can get the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 3, that edition. If at all you want to contact us, you can get us through SMS, through the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook or you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to Edin TV. Thank you.